While a lot of us are making a transition, there is no working from home for police officers, and that means gloves and masks are as important now as guns and bulletproof vests. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Miami with more on those efforts. Ty. Well, Francis, today we're hearing from the city of Miami police chief after the number of officers with COVID-19 increased this week. And just to drive up north, we're getting a closer look at what's being done to keep BSO deputies safe. 11 city of Miami police officers have coronavirus. That number jumped by five officers this week. Chief George Kalina says efforts are in place to keep that number low, like temperature checks. We know that they had an elevated temperature or if we know that they described that to us, we, we send them home immediately, we have them self-isolate, and then, of course, we get them tested. Because of reasons like asymptomatic people, officers have gloves and masks. And as for people who work inside any police building... No one's allowed in unless they're properly screened. You get a tag to make sure that we know that you've been screened. So er every day this color changes. The department still has the same level of staffing on patrol. And knowing they visit several places per shift, the chief says he is alerted about cases and whether officers were there. And if so, he wants to see if his men and women were exposed. Also Friday morning at Broward Sheriff's Office. Latex gloves. 20,000 masks were handed out to deputies. Sheriff Gregory Tony says as soon as personal protective equipment or PPE comes in, it goes out. It's my goal and our command staff goal to not become complacent. We spent over $1.3 million on equipment and I'm willing to spend another 10 if that's necessary. This new distribution happened just days after the sheriff defended BSO's efforts to keep deputies safe. The union says deputies complained about a lack of equipment. BSO says near 60 deputies are positive for COVID-19. They recently mourned the loss of Deputy Shannon Bennett. And as for City of Miami officers on patrol during a pandemic, the chief says there is a worst case scenario plan in place to keep people safe. We could operate at 60% of our workforce if we had to. And speaking of BSO, today it was announced the union president for BSO deputies was suspended for comments he made. Now, the union's attorney says he was advocating for deputy safety and the suspension may be illegal, but the attorney didn't say which laws BSO may have broken. In the meantime, 225 deputies at BSO are being monitored. And here at the city of Miami's police department, out of all of the officers who tested positive, nine are still in quarantine. We are live in the city of Miami tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.